Hello, hello, Amy here with your July swag. Let's go over what's in your swag bag this month. For starters, we've got our mermaid ice patterns. There's a couple different ways to use these, so I'm going to show you. They can be a little tricky, but if you know how to work with them, it'll save you some time and give you a really cool result. Next, we've got our white magic. This is our one-step white, super, super white gel polish. So these are our pastel pigments. We are really excited about these. You guys have been asking for these for quite some time. They have a little bit of a pearlescent and iridescent vibe to them. So they're perfect for any pastel, mermaid, unicorn, you name it. And last is our new duster and bling brush combo combo so these are great to use with your pigments a nice clean fluffy brush is exactly what you need to apply your pigments really well and get them ombre really well so to get started I'm just going to put the white magic on a couple tips and give this a good cure now your magics are a full 60 second cure you'll notice I will under cure just a little bit the magics do leave a nice decent tacky layer for pigments and art but because the shimmer pigment towers have a little bit of um, that shimmer to them they kind of slide around a little bit more and they're just not as porous as your regular pigments so you need a decent sticky layer to grab the color of the pastel so I am going to under cure them just a little bit which is kind of a no-no with the magics but the white magic is definitely not as finicky as the black magic so we're not going to be seeing any trouble with that so we're going to give these about a 40 second cure so for the first design we're just going to do a quick little ombre you'll notice when i pick some of the pigment up i rub it out onto like a towel or my tabletop just to remove or mix any chunkier pieces in there so that i can get a nice smooth ombre and we're just going to pick up a little bit of each one and we're going to ombre these down the nail. Okay, so next we are going to just fold the corner and peel off one of our ice patterns. I just want to get under there with a the tweezer, grab it, and then just carefully peel it off of the backing. And we've got the inside pieces and the outside stencil. So that's exactly what I want. I want to place this down and then I'm going to use either my finger or I'll grab like a silicone tool here and just really press all the individual scales down. So once I've got those down, I'm just going to pick, take my tweezers again and just carefully pull. And you'll see that you're pulling off the actual stencil, but all of your individual pieces are staying on the nail. I try to be really careful doing this because I want to keep the stencil and use that also. So that's why I'm just being a little bit more careful pulling this off, but it looks like it's stuck really well, which is good because I want all of those individual scales on there. So just take your time pulling that off. Next, just give them a little bit of a press on the side walls. You're going to have some that hang off the edge, but that's okay. Next, we're going to just take a really sharp pair of nippers and just nip any of those edges that are hanging off. And if you can, try to nip them just before the edge of the nail so that nothing is hanging over. And last, we're going to take top coat and coat this really nice. Make sure you're getting all the edges and cure this for 60 seconds. All right, so once that comes out of the light, we're going to just use our slim little side file here, and we're just going to go up and down our sides, across the free edge, and we're going to make sure that nothing is catching on anything or hanging over, and it's all fully encased really well. All right, for our next nail, we're going to take the stencil part of the ice pattern, and we're just going to place this right down, and this is just over the cured white magic. Can use your brush to kind of put it in place and next we're just dusting our powders right on top and then we're taking our tweezers and just peeling off that stencil and now we're just going to top coat this and this gives us a nice faded kind of an ombre scaled look 
nice and muted. Okay, so for our next design, we are going to take our white magic. We're going to do a nice coat. Remember, keep your magic thin. And we're going to go right in with our pigment. We want to get a splattered, almost airbrushed look this time. So I'm going right in with the pigment, picking up a lot of it on my brush, and then just tapping my brush so the excess falls off. And this is how we get this spray painted look. Once you've got enough on there, go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. So once it's come out after curing for 60 seconds, just give it a light dust to get rid of any excess pigment. We don't want it to move around or drag in our next step. So now we're going to take the ice patterns again, and I'm just pressing down on certain areas, but I don't want to grab all of the scales. I just want some random scales throughout the nail. And last, to give this even a little bit more depth, what we're going to do is put matte top coat on. We're going to go, go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. And then when that comes out, we're going to take the shiny regular top coat, gel top coat, and we're going to just place this right over the scales. And when you're done with that, we're going to cure for 60 seconds. And this will give kind of like a bubble look over just the scales. Okay, so for our next design, you may think that the White Magic doesn't grab enough pigment color. So if you're wanting a little bit more, what I'm going to do is put a base coat on. And this is going to give us a really good tacky layer to work with, just so you guys can see the difference. So this is cured base coat. And you'll see the difference in color, how much more it's going to grab. So we've got our pink, and we're just going to do an ombre of color for a nice background. Now we're just putting regular top coat on. So if you guys find that your scales or your stencils, your decals, whatever it is you're using is not sticking well because there's so much pigment and powder on the nail, so it's not giving it a really favorable sticky surface, this will help with that and your stencils or your stickers will not peel at all. Putting that top coat down really does help. I like to show you guys different ways to do it just in case maybe a little bit of troubleshooting. And then, of course, we're top coating and curing for the full 60 seconds. All right, nail peeps, that's it till next month. Thanks so much for watching. And hey, check us out on our new TikTok channel, Profiles Backstage. Happy nailing!